Hey girl, hey, this is Getting Younger, the show for people who can't get enough younger. I'm your host, Taylor Strecker, and we are live in Union Square in New York City. This show only happens when you send your questions and comments, so start typing them right now below and vote in our very first fan poll. So last week, Liza and Charles had a close call when uh, Redmond spotted them out to dinner. Is their secret relationship more trouble than it's worth? Yes? Too much drama or, uh, no, how dare you even ask that? Type your vote in the comment section below and we'll get to that in just a few minutes. But first, my guests of tonight are Tessa Albertson, AKA Caitlin, hey girl. Hi. And TV Line's executive digital editor and younger super fan, Andy Swift. Welcome guys. Thank you. Okay, so real quick, Andy, you got a promotion today. I did. Congrats. Yes. What, what, so what's your new title? Uh, it's actually it's executive editor. Excuse me, I'm so sorry. <laughs> we didn't yeah. have time to change the teleprompter. <laughs> no, it's fine. Um, but yeah, thank you, thank you very much. Congrats. So and exciting. then also, Miss Thang, it was your 22nd birthday. It was. Happy birthday. Wow. Thank you so much. All the celebration. And guys, I was diagnosed with uh, bronchitis yesterday. Oh, so hey, hey, if I real. snap, so if I'm coughing, I apologize. Right. We're gonna have, we already talked about it, but like we're gonna have a cough off. Yeah. That's gonna be great programming. Everyone's gonna love that. Love. Okay, you guys, we also have a cocktail of the night. It's called the Drinkberg, which is of course an homage to Josh's Inkberg tattoo shop, which I hear is having a grand reopening on tonight's episode. Little Ooh. teaser. So cheers. You guys, yes. cheers, cheers to that. Cheers and cheers. cheers. And mine's a mocktail because I will spontaneously combust <laughs> if I have alcohol. Mm -hmm. It's true. Um, I bet yours is delicious. Mine tastes terrible with that alcohol. Mm. <laughs> okay, so speaking of tattoos, where do you both stand on tattoos? You guys have them, you're for them, not your scene. What's the deal? Andy? My skin is as bare as when I was born. Yeah. Yeah, really? I was born without any tattoos. You, oh, good to know. I guess I'm not against it, but I feel like it just really has to come to me what exactly I would want. So still, you are you are a tattoo I'm open-minded, but I'm, I'm a virgin, yeah. A virgin, yeah. a tattoo virgin. <laughs> yeah. I am too, because I'm so scared of my mom. Yeah. Yes. That's a good, that's yeah. a healthy fear. No, yes. it's true. I bought red like hair clip and extensions, um, and my mom was away, and she saw it on Instagram, and when she thought that they were real, she sent me a, a Long email, a very long and scary email. So thankfully they were not real. I had a nightmare one time that I had a sleeve yeah. and my parents like grounded me. I was probably 28 when I had this dream. So yeah. <laughs> yep. Well, look, look at us. Look at us now. A bunch of scared whips. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So if you were to get a tattoo, what would you get? I had been, after a night of like really heavy drinking, I tried to convince a friend of mine that we should get ALF tattoos on our butt. ALF? ALF? Yeah, like ALF, like the, the puppet. Oh, sorry. From the 80s. Cute. Uh, How drunk were you? Real, real hammered. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh, I kind of love not, it, though. We did not get that. Anything on the butt's fair game, because it's like really, you know, it's just for you. Yeah. Right, just yes. for you, exactly. Just for you. Yeah. What would you get? I don't know why, but one time I was in a restaurant and I saw a lobster with rubber bands around its claws. Okay. And for some reason that like image kind of like struck me as powerful because their claws are huge. Like they're like yeah. one third, like the proportion of the rest of their body. And they're yeah. like actually really scary. But as soon as you put a rubber band on it, they're useless. And they're just like waiting to die in this glass, in this case. So it kind of made me think like, you know, some just, there's just a little rubber band around your claws, babe, but like, you got this. So you would get, what, a claw with a rubber band? A lobster with a rubber like band around its claws, yeah. I am so into that. Can I don't I know why. It? That, yeah, I, I get drew it, I drew it. And my friend, I, I don't worry, mom, I will never get this, but <laughs> I, I, actually I, I don't know, like I thought it's like kind of this cool, weird image Girl, that that's deep and I'm here for it. <laughs> I, I don't know. Way deeper than I was expecting. <laughs> well, right now, let's get into last week's episode. So despite all of their close calls, the Liza and Charles love train continues to pick up speed. Take a look. I just don't want to wait any longer to be with you. I feel the same way. But there's just a lot on the table right now with my divorce, with empirical. So for now, it's important that no one else knows about us. I understand. But keeping this relationship a secret, it's not gonna be easy. Nothing worth having comes easy. Hmm. That's like my favorite phrase, but I don't know if I like it in this instance. Yeah. Okay, so Tessa, as Caitlin, okay, what do you think she would think of this relationship? Uh, well, I think it's interesting because I think 
my generation were growing up a lot with like the Me Too dialogue. You yes. Know? And so I think like boss at work. I feel like that's what she would be more like, kind of. Like really, mom? Just like, that's not, perf that's not, there, what if you didn't, what if he wasn't your boss? Would you still feel that way about him? Is oh, that, you know, maybe it's like a power a thing. A power dynamic, yeah. But I think Kayla will be into it, you know? Yeah, I right? think, I mean, her mom is gorgeous, you know? And she's single, she is divorced, so I think she'd be happy that she's like out there. But Caitlin also adores Josh. Adores. So. But I think she'd be like slightly like in a really sinister part of her brain would be happy that they're not together because I think Caitlin really, really wants to be with Josh. She wants to mow. Or like someone who looks exactly <laughs> like Josh. You know, it would be weird because he like didn't his date twin. her mom, but like, yeah, his twin. That would be great. <laughs> okay. That happens on the show. Writers. Andy, I hope that happens. Season I hope six. It happens. Okay, Andy, what, as a super fan, yes. what's your reaction to that scene? Um, I mean, they obviously have something very special, and I think, yeah. uh, you know, if, if something is there, it's definitely worth exploring. My only thing is I'm wondering, like, the sacrifices have to be even. Like, if one of them is giving up too much, or yes. one of them is mm. going out of their way to hide more than the other one, because it seems like she's really trying to, like, open up and be honest with everybody. So now yeah. he's almost dragging her back into that world of secrets that yes. she's been struggling so hard to get out of. So in that respect, I don't like it. But I do I think there's something there worth, like, exploring. Yeah, I think it's hard for Charles to, like, understand that because he just was clued in that yeah. she's been lying this whole time. Right, so for him, it's like, well, it's a brand new secret we have together. And she's like, dude, I've been holding on to this oh for four God. seasons. Yeah. <laughs> right, exactly. Liza. Okay, that noise means <laughs> it's time for your poll results. So, is Liza and Charles' secret relationship more trouble than it's worth? And of course, the majority of you were like, no, girl, shut up. Don't even no. ask that stupid question. Know, we waited for this for how long? Five seasons. Okay, but I, I must point out that 25% said yes. So what's wrong with you guys? I guess that's Team Josh speaking. Right. Right? I know th this is the thing. The teens are still very strong. Yeah. Or like Asif Manvi's character. Yes. Was amazing. Was Last amazing. Season. I know. Do you remember? I yeah. Do. He was Super the best. And yeah. that was like such a heartbreaking scene because he was like, this could be something amazing, but you're just in love with someone else. She's got too much love for two guys. Okay, let's go to another poll. Last week we found out that Enzo once starred in an adult film. If there were a porn parody of Younger, what should it be called? Should it be called Younger? I tried oh really God. hard for that. <laughs> Tongue her, uh, sprung er, or empiriconda. Oh, wow. Yes, cast your vote by typing it in the comment section below, and we'll get to that in about five minutes. And keep those questions and comments coming too. Uh, yeah, so you know that thing where you can figure out your porn name? Yeah. Yes. Okay, so this is how I play it. Play it, it's not really a game. Um, so you take your first childhood pet name, and then you take the street that you grew up on. Okay, so Andy, what would your porn star name be? Oh boy, um, Shelly. Oh yeah. Shelly Round Hill. Ooh, Ooh, that's good. That's good. She's got big old boobies. Big, she's got big old boobies. Everything is just so so round. <laughs> that's amazing. The yeah. booty. She's just got it everywhere. Mm -hmm. She's I love just. It. She's oh. just a ball. Yep. She just <gasps> took a complete circle. A sexy, sexy ball. Okay, <laughs> Tessa. Well, I want to use my avenue because if 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 I do my street, then I'm Superman ninety seventh, which okay. is like. What is that? <laughs> right, totally. But Superman West End Avenue. Superman, Superman. I'm still, I was getting hung up on Superman. Sorry, I had to pause this. That it was a fish. West End of Avenue. Of course it was a fish. I never had like a dog or a that cat. Is, so. uh, that is, that's a something. Yeah, it is. Mine is Bubbles Beachwood. That. That's, what? I win every that time. That is legit. You went last. Right, I know. <laughs> I, is that crazy? I, mine was a fish too. I kill bubbles because I did not realize hot water. I'm like, I like hot water, but fish don't. Superman uh. like swam under the pebbles and just stayed there. Oh my God, same. Like, what are you doing? Yeah. You're bubbles. ruining your own life. <laughs> yes. They just wanted to get away from us. Yeah. Fair yeah. enough. Fair, Fair enough. enough. Okay, guys, right now it's time for some fan questions. So let's get to it. I also have questions as well. Um, you want me to do? Okay. We'll go to Jenny N. I know it's gonna sound weird, but is there going to be a chance that Josh, you and Josh are gonna like each other? I'm assuming she's talking to Tessa, not Andy. No, me and Josh got along great. Andy, what do you think? What are the chances? <laughs> You kind of just brought it up. Well, you know, you'll see in this week's episode, we are definitely um, friends, you know? I, I, I would say that we have our own independent friendship. Okay. Like, we wouldn't just hang out if my mom was around. But I really, I think that he's more of like a, he feels like he's more of a big brother to me. Yeah, I'm right. like, 
Like you're crushing. But then again, like would you ever want to go? It's like girl code times a bajillion. I know, but have you seen him? Yeah, huh? Okay, yeah, we can break that girl code. No, but girl code, yeah, girl code. totally. I'm for it. I'm supporting <laughs> Absolutely, it. Absolutely, the girl code. Let's go to another fan question. Uh, again, I have some questions that I want to get to. Okay, first, let's go to Roxanne M. Would you really want Josh for a stepdad? <laughs> again, Tessa, that's on you, girl. I mean... I guess, I feel like it'd be fun if he was my stepdad, but then it would be so weird because, you know, the previous question, I would also date him. So I, I think I, he's just really cool and like really fun to look at. So I would like him in my life, I guess, you know? <laughs> Maybe your step dilf. Andy, <gasps> what do you think about Josh and Caitlin? Shh, doping. <laughs> I mean, in any other instance, I would be all for it. I feel like, but my thing is like, would you know him if it wasn't for, would she know him if it wasn't for her mother? Well, potentially. Well, yeah, because the first time I met him, I was getting a tattoo. And so then she, I came yeah. home and I was like, oh my God, the tattoo guy is so hot, mom. And she's like. <laughs> because it's kind of like how Liza met, Char Liza would have met Charles anyway because their friends were trying to set them up. Right. right. So maybe, maybe Caitlin and Josh are fated to end Oh up my there. gosh, a twist in season six. Wow, you've got your conspiracy theories. I think about the show a lot. I think about it all the time, too. That's a, really cry into my, that's a cry into my alcohol. Okay, so it's my turn for a question. I count as a fan. Okay, so Caitlin taught Liza about bread facing this season. It's a really good thing to know. Were you familiar with bread facing before the season? Um, no, I was not. Um, Dottie, who's one of the producers, called me in January, which huh. was like four months before we were shooting, uh -huh. and she was like, you gotta look this thing up. It's called bread facing, and like, it's I awesome. need to know that like you're okay with this, you know, before we... Because it's, it's weird. It's super weird. How and did it like, feel? How did it smell? Um, I want to do it. Oh, it, it was great. It was great. It, right? But we requested a closed set because, like, it's kinky, you know? What? Yeah. See, I saw the video years ago, and I didn't even put two and two together. I just thought it was for girls who are, like, really hungry that well, wanted to like, eat bread. That's, that's what they claim. That's how, that's how it started, was that girls just really like bread more yeah. than men. You yeah. Know? And um, sorry that I looked at you. Oh, and then, and it, it, you know, bread smells good, but then like yeah. men were like, I'll pay you like a thousand dollars to do that to like holla bread. I mean, why not? Like, yeah, exactly. So Caitlin's like, I'm a student. I'll make some extra money that I way. I considered selling my underpants well, online at well, times. Well, did that. Remember? Exactly. Yeah, that didn't yeah, work out well. Bread but. facing is hardly like the weirdest thing that's happened, I yeah. feel like. Yeah, yeah. What, your thoughts on bread facing? I'm actually surprised that this show did teach me what bread facing is. <laughs> oh, was. really? I'm surprised because I am like all about falling into weird YouTube holes and just like discovering things. <laughs> but I just feel like it's kind of a waste of bread. Yeah. Oh, good point. Like, yeah, no, it was really sad filming it because my lipstick would get on the bread and, and then the prop guy would just come and replace it with a new loaf and I was like he had like a garbage bag full of the loaves <laughs> with my lipstick loaves. on I was like I will take that home and I eat, that. eat that <laughs> I will eat that okay let's go to Cody T what was it like singing with Sutton that was one of my questions I'm so happy you got it okay so yeah okay well fun fact I was teenage Fiona in Shrek the Musical on Broadway when Sutton was Fiona my so yeah. I played her mini me and actually sang with her eight times a week for like five, six months, and that was like, I mean, it's, it was fun. It was fun to do it with her again, um, but. So how many years between that duo and now younger? That, I mean, it's been like almost 10 years. Wow. Yeah. So when you joined Younger, you were like, hey, old friend. It was, it was crazy, she didn't know. So I messaged her and I was like, hey, I got Mom. this part, I'm playing your daughter, and she had no idea. And then we walked in on the first day at the table read and she was like, I already love my daughter. I oh, I have to. love it. It was so sweet. That's well, great. you did such a great job singing with her at the Christmas episode. You see episode. my twerking? Yes. <laughs> What did you say? I couldn't hear you. My twerking? <gasps> You're twerking. <laughs> Thank God I re-asked that, because I just looked at you like this blindly. Uh -huh. I was also doing like a weird like British accent. I was like talking like this a bit, and they were like, you can just do normal. Well, you did a great job, but was it nerve-wracking at all? Um, no, I think the like strangest part was that we were in like a room full of extras who had no idea what was happening. Right. You know, like they didn't really know the show, like they were just, because they're crazy. How dare they? Yeah. And they're How all just, they? and we just kept walking in and out with aprons on, with like our hair up, I'll like doing this. And they were just kind of like, cool. I loved it. Okay, Andy, as a super fan, yes. what's been your favorite moment from the season of Younger so far? I, from this season, I don't think you can get better than the moment that um, Liza and Kelsey had to cover 
uh, for the age situation mm. and she came up with that age queer. Oh, thing, it was which, so like, good. Not only was it like a, such a like a, like a well acted scene between the, the two or three of them, but just like it was it was amazing. It was an incredible concept that I feel like I'm gonna use when I get older. Yeah. Right? I was like, this is like, this is pioneering. Yeah. yeah. Like, this is actually gonna be a thing yeah. next year, and I am here for it. Totally. Absolutely. Okay, do we Bye have up. any more? Well, okay, we'll get to fan questions in just a little bit. <laughs> Your poll results are in. If there were a porn parody of Younger, what should yep. it be called? Yep. And the majority of you said Empiriconda. I, I agree with I that. I agree 100%. It's just a really good porn name. Yeah, and the also, rest are a little too graphic. You know? Yeah, the, the tongue hurt is like so, so graphic. graphic. Oh, it makes me blush. Empiriconda also encompasses like the business aspect of it. You could have a lot yeah. of like sexy office scenes. Mm -hmm. And also Charles is Bing a dong. He is the Empiric. Yes. Oh my gosh, I Hello. forgot about that. I actually didn't know that. My producer had to tell me during rehearsal. That and I was, was like, it makes so awful. much sense. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, it's time for another poll. So if uh, if when Caitlin finds out that her mom Liza is lying about her age, how do you think she's going to react? So, do you think she's gonna throw her a 27th birthday party, <laughs> ground her for a month with no phone or TV privileges, Ooh. help her start a new career as a line coach and consultant, or decide to start pretending she's in her 40s to make things even? Start by voting and typing your answers in the comment section below. We'll get to that in about a few minutes. But right now, while you guys are voting, it's time for a game. Are you up game, for it? Game, game, game. Always. Okay, so it's called Younger Trivia, which we actually have yet to do so far in all of our episodes of Getting Younger. So, and it's hard. And I normally know the answers, but I'm playing along with, I don't know the answers. Okay. So, Andy uh, and Tessa, you're versus the fans, okay. essentially. So we're and I guess I'm just like yes. by myself. So everyone watching at home, type your answers in the comment section below. You know the drill. Okay, so here we go. In season one, these are hard. In season one, Liza babysits Charles' daughters, and they share a moment discussing what? Classic books featuring tragic characters, great artists who had messed up lives, um, how messed up the publishing industry is, or Diana's great taste in necklaces. And to be clear, I believe this question is saying, what did Liza and Charles talk about? Yes, while he was baby, well, while she was babysitting. Oh. Not what she discussed with the girls, what she discussed with Charles. It's gotta be books or artists. It's gotta be books, definitely not Diana's necklaces. You know, I wish it were, because they are I so wish fabulous. It were. Yeah, that's what someone said to me recently. They're oh. like, oh my gosh, Pat Fields is incredible. They're, they're another character. Yeah. yeah. I mean, literally. So what's your, what's your final answer? Let's Lock go, it in. Let's go with books. Books? Books. Okay, I wanna see what the audience has to say. Um, said artists. Artists with messed up lives, okay? I'm gonna also say books, not because y'all said it, but because that's what the memory is telling me. Yeah. And the actual answer is, damn it. Okay, it's uh, artists who have messed up oh. lives. We, we're, we're failing. We failed, the fans <laughs> are better I'm than good. us. I'm gonna get my super fan card. I hate right. to lose. Right, okay, excellent. you guys, we can do this, yeah, okay? Yeah, yeah. Now I'm joining their team, forget it. We're working together. <laughs> okay. okay, in season two, when Caitlin comes home from India, you have an advantage. She says she has been having erotic dreams about what? Pizza, burgers, mac and cheese from a box, or bad reality TV. Cast your votes, okay. Don't I feel like I just need to not talk. Okay, so let's you and I discuss Andy back and forth, because know. she knows. So burgers sounds like a good option, because she was in India and you can't eat cow. Right. So that would probably be a thing that's not like readily available in India. I also think pizza, because like New York pizza. That's my, that's what I'm feeling, so. That's what I would have the dreams of. I say that we, so you and I are tentatively locking into pizza. Tentatively. Do we, the audience also says pizza, so Tessa, you want to confirm? It was an iconic moment. I uh, came home and I said that I wanted pizza. Yeah, and if, uh, so. if you take me out for a drink sometime, I can recite every single line that I've ever uttered. No in the five seasons of Younger TV. Yes. It's a date, yeah. I'm taking you out, I can't wait. I'm gonna be so entertained. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so everyone won that one, so Yay. good, okay. Uh, what is the <laughs> name, what is the name of the made up language spoken in Ed Edward L. L. Moore's book, Crown of Kings? This one's tough. Yeah. Is it Kinglish, Cronish, Crownari, if I'm saying that right, or Klingon? I think it's Cast your Cronish, votes. Right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna also go with Cronish. So you feel Cronish, you feel Cronish. I, in my heart of hearts, I also feel Cronish. Um, let's see what the fans had to say. Yeah. yeah. 80, so wow, majority, massive majority is Cronish, and the answer is Cronish. Fans. You guys, we yes. are nailing, we are fans. Okay. Fans, <laughs> I know. What is Lauren's PR agency tagline? 
This one's tricky. Oh, I love this one. Yes. If you're not with us, what the heller are you doing? We're not great, we're heller good. We're heller on wheels, or we'll make you say what the heller, but in a good way. Yeah, no, we Cast all your vote right now. I think we all know it too. I'm gonna say are. what I think. I think it's we're not great, we're heller good. It is, well, because I remember Kelsey's like, why don't you just say like, you're great? <laughs> yeah. Isn't that better? And she's like, no, nah, like hell or good. Hell or good. Her, yeah, Molly's, she's like, we're hell or good. Like her her whole like delivery of that was incredible. 91% said hell or good. So, okay. Oh, actually 97, 98. Okay, Ooh. yeah, now you guys are just piggybacking off of us. <laughs> okay, you guys got it right. You got it right. Okay, last question. So they are, the audience is one ahead of us, okay? Oh, wow. So this Ooh. could be a potential tie maker. Uh, in season four, Kelsey and Liza are blackmailed into publishing a book written from the perspective of an advice giver dog known as Pearl, okay, who showed up at the book signing wearing what? A jaunty hat, a dog-sized designer gown, a merkin, or a full face of makeup. Tessa, did you just raise your hand? Yeah. <laughs> I know this too. I know this without a doubt. Andy, are without you 100% on this one? I mean, I'm 100% it's not merkin. You are? <laughs> really? Interesting. No, 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 no. That's very interesting. No, 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 no. no. That's interesting. Merkin. So what do you think it is? Just, what do you think it is? What do you think it is? I mean, it's, uh, I'm... You know what? I'm based on your reaction. I'm gonna go with Merkin. It's like actually it a 100. Well, my answer is Merkin. Merkin. It's 100 percent Merkin. 100 percent Merkin. And actually, though, but you threw the audience off, so it was 100 percent Merkin, and Thank then you, you threw Don't them because you're the super fan. But that's okay. So the fans got every single one right. I learned what a Merkin was because of this episode. Yep. That's so do you remember what a Merkin is? I, do, I I learned. Yeah, that's why I was like trying to imagine like this dog. Because it was a boy, and they had to cover the. Pee pee. Oh His my pee -pee God. With the Merkin. Too, yeah. I clearly need to do like a full younger rewatch, but no, I'm also, right. when did dogs get pubic hair? That's my question. Right. That's everyone's question. It doesn't make sense. Right. So that's going to be a I'm going to give you an out for that. Thank you. You're Ooh. welcome. Liza. <laughs> okay, guys, your poll results are in. If or when Caitlin finds out that her mom, Liza, is lying to her about how old <laughs> she is, what do you think she's going to say? And the majority of you said, Throw her, nice. throw her a choice at the birthday party, right? Party. Right? Yeah. I think she's gonna be cool with it. Yo, Caitlyn's gonna be so cool with it. Right? She's gonna be empowered. Especially um, after you see tonight's episode. That's all I'm gonna say. Was that a good tease? That was, that was a tease. tease. Oh, thanks, well, let's guys. talk about something else now. Okay, <laughs> fan questions. Okay, let's go to Vito L. Hey, Andy, who's your favorite character and why? Oh, God. Um, I mean, I love everyone. But I would have to say my favorite character is actually Lauren. Really? I mean, Caitlyn, obviously, no, is my no, favorite. No, no, it's okay. <laughs> you don't have to do that. Um, I don't know. I just feel like she's such a funny addition. I like the way she also kind of weaves her way in and out of all the different <coughs> groups. Like, yeah. and, you know, when she met Diana for the first time. Oh, that, that was, was magic. That felt like uh, yeah. years in the making, like fate. So, and, you know, she dated Maggie. So I like the way she's kind of an interloper. You're right. She's the only character that's really, like, come in contact with every single character, yeah. except for Charlie. Charles. And for you. <laughs> and Charles, yeah. She never, you never crossed paths when she was hooking up with Maggie? No. No, I trust your memory but much more than mine. <laughs> You've yeah. proven you know this. Yeah. Okay, so who's your favorite character? You can't say you, sorry. I think the first, my, my gut instinct is to say Diana mm. because I will never forget the scene that she did with her um, boyfriend from last season. Yes. That was like one of the best scenes, I think, when she was like, I don't need you, actually. And then she puts on her very dramatic what, flower necklace. Oh in the my mirror. God. Oh. I watched it with my best friend Elliot, and we were both just like, ah! it was so, it was so good. Powerful. Yeah. I'm, I'm also changing my answer to a tie between Lauren and Diana. Okay. Oh, interesting. Because okay. I, love, I love Maggie, too. Yeah. Mine's Caitlin. Thanks, BB. You're welcome. Okay, let's go to, <laughs> let's go to Kaylee. Uh, C, is Sutton a mom figure on set or a total BFF? Great question. Um, <clears throat> interesting. Well, she's a new mom, which is very exciting. Yes. And on set, she's like never on her phone. She's just crocheting like blankets and hats for her baby. Wow. It is beautiful. Um, I would say she's like kind of a little bit of both, you know, because mm -hmm. like I don't think of her as like a mother to me, um, but she's so wise. And like when I do have her alone, when we're like sitting in those chairs, I'll just be like, so like I'm having these like boy problems. Like I'm having like, you know, this stress at school. Like, please just like, I want all of your wisdom, you know? And she's there for it. She yep. just like knits and she's like, I love that. She's the one that taught me that there's always like a lesson that you can take from every relationship that you're in. I agree with that so much. Yeah. Nothing is regrettable, yeah. you know? It's all building to who you are now. Okay, let's go to another question. Uh, you guys have very long names. Paulina, I, Andy, do you think Charles and Liza are endgame? 
where do you think their relationship is headed? I just learned what Endgame meant like three episodes ago, by the way. Mm. <laughs> I was like, what's Endgame? Um, I, th I feel like it's impossible to say if like any two people are Endgame on this show just because like, you know, the fans keep wanting different people together and, mm. and they all keep changing their minds. I certainly think that Charles makes sense. I mean, He's got he's got his baggage, but so does she. I yep. think you know they're age appropriate. Like we we said, you know they would have met anyway. So yep. there's like a fate thing there. So I think I think yes. Okay, so Tessa just said to me, "What's Endgame? <sighs> Endgame is like okay, you explain. You are the expert." Well, Endgame it's just like the it's like who's gonna end up at the end of the game? I guess yeah. <laughs> is like uh, the easiest way. Like to when know. all the seasons are said and done. So yeah. season 118, who will she end up with? Oh my gosh! Right, God willing. Yeah. I've always kind of thought that there might be like a third guy out there somewhere who's like Ooh. sort of halfway, not necessarily in age, but just in like, he has some of the qualities of both, but right. I guess right. we'll see. Oh, well, like, oh. Yeah, from that clip when he's like nothing, nothing that's like worth fighting for is easy. I disagree. You yeah. Know? Someone told me once like, you don't like sometimes it should be easy, mm -hmm. you know, to it's some to a to a certain degree. Yeah. yeah, like this like secrecy in the back. I'm taking forever yeah. when her Joshua just like was. Yeah. yeah. Mm hmm. Okay. Another question from Patrina P. Will Josh and Liza ever get back together? That is my question, girl. Every single episode. Uh, Andy, what do you think? I would be kind of surprised. You would? Like, yeah. You're not expecting them to get back together? No. I, and I know, I mean, I know that Caitlin's really pushing for it, so <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry to her. I don't know. I, I feel like that, that ship has kind of sailed. I feel like, I really thought that at his wedding that he was going to, that they, something was going to happen between them. Right. Yeah. Um, but then when it didn't, I was kind of like, all right, that's it. Yep. Okay. Tessa? Yeah. I mean, I think I would love for them to be back together as Caitlin. How about as Tessa? Tessa? As Tessa? Yeah. I mean, but... Me too. But, you know, I, I don't think they will because I think Liza loves him so much that she, like, sees, you know, he could, what if he, like, wants a kid? Like, she can't give that to him, you know? I think they'll kiss him. <laughs> I, don't, I think there'll be, like, at least one more, like, physical situation, but I don't know if they'll get back well, to What together. about Josh and Kelsey? No, never! Right, you're right, you're right. Girl code, girl code, girl code. <laughs> no, not that, really not that really I have a strong up. opinion. You're right, you're yeah, right. we're like, Kayla can hook up with Josh, but Kelsey can never hook up yeah. with Josh. <laughs> never. Okay, so tonight's episode of Younger is literally moments away, and we're gonna give you a sneak peek. This is what happens next, so I'm gonna play a clip from tonight's episode, freeze it at a specific moment, and then you're gonna guess what happens next. So, <laughs> roll it. Hey. Why are you leaving so early? Freeze. Okay, so freeze. You see the power? Freeze. Yes. It just stops. <laughs> um, so why do you think Diana is leaving so early? Enzo's snoring is out of control. She doesn't want to run into Enzo's mother. She's trying to ghost Enzo, or she heard about a statement necklace sale in Staten <laughs> yes. Island, naturally. <laughs> Vote by typing your answers in the comment section below. We'll get to that in just a little bit. Uh, what do you guys think? I want it to be a statement necklace. So, <laughs> so bad. do I. Yeah. Can you I imagine. I woke up for I for a sample sale once. I woke up at like six. Oh my god. Yeah. I'm to impressed. To get there like first. What was know? it? Opening ceremony. Oh hell yeah, girl! Yeah. I would be there with you. Yeah. Okay. While the fans are voting, let's play a little game. It's called In Vino Veritas, which translates to In Wine There's Truth. So, uh, I used to have a giant wine glass. But she was murdered tonight. Oh, all right. I know. Fine, I murdered her last night by mistake. <laughs> I'm on antibiotics, I can't drink for 10 days. So last night, I got a little cray cray with the big wine glass, and um, we were dancing, and I spun her, and I broke her. So. Taylor! No, and that's a lie. Someone else broke her, and I'm very upset about it. <laughs> so now we have a stupid regular wine glass, <laughs> but whatever. I mean, when something. Sadly passes away, rest in peace, giant oh, wine please. glass is what we go with. So your <laughs> castmates wrote uh, questions, just general questions. I want you to each take one, okay? Can I have castmates too? Can I open it? Yeah, okay, so here's the deal. You're gonna both answer them. Okay, so uh, Tessa, open it, read who it's from, and then answer it, and then Andy will answer it, and then, you know, follow suit. Okay. okay. My name is Molly. Hello. My question for any cast member is, are you a morning person or a night owl? I love this question. Go, girl. Um, I used to be a night owl, um, but now I'm a morning person. Because of opening ceremony? No, because of my boyfriend. Really? He wakes up at seven in the morning every Why? day. Why? He's a writer. <laughs> He'll hate that I said that. <laughs> but yeah. That's but I impressive. Also, I also just feel like you get more done during the day. You do. You know? You do. Andy? 
It's my dream to be a morning person. Ugh. I get, I have to get up at work for work like the earliest is like nine, and I still think that's like too early. You have to get out of bed at nine. Get out, if I leave the house by nine thirty, then I can be at work by ten. Uh, but I even then I'm like nine, like meh. I like because I like staying up to like three. Oh my god! So night owl. Yeah, night owl for yeah. sure. My morning radio show. I'm all, I'm done at ten. I am. So You're done like, at like, ten. I'm ready for dinner. The, I know, right? Oh I'm gosh. like Andy. No, I I'm not a morning person though. You're After twelve years in morning radio, I'm like punching walls every single morning. Oh god, <laughs> why do I do it to myself? Oh. Okay, uh, second question. All right, my name is Nico. I think it's Nico Tortorella. Yeah. Uh, my question is, of course, not surprised. What is love? All oh, God. Is you. I'm not the least bit surprised. Andy, go for it. The easiest question in the world, right? <laughs> what is love? Then I'm going to give the easiest answer. Love is everything. Wow. Was that, a cop out? was that a cop out answer? Yeah, that was good. Actually. I'm actually officiating my brother's wedding in like a month, so Stop. maybe I should use that. Yeah, you should. And or that, I should and figure that could out what be love it. <laughs> no, I think that's perfect. And then you're like, you're married. <laughs> <laughs> Done. Done. What do you think, Tessa? Oh, What's I mean, love? I know. You know when you know. You know? Totes. I know. <laughs> Totes. I like a short Liza. answer, too. Oh, I don't have to answer. Your poll results are in. Why do you think Diana is leaving so early? Uh, and the majority of you said Enzo's mother. I think that you guys, you guys are very smart, this audience, <laughs> I have to say. Very perceptive. So very. don't confirm it, but what do you think about their prediction for tonight's episode? I mean, Enzo's mother scares me, and yes. I'm Italian, so I would say probably, yeah, that makes sounds about right. Yeah, and Diana's not afraid of anything except, I mean, Enzo's mother was terrifying. Like. Terrifying. I love when she spoke back to her in Italian. Oh. Yeah. Yes. yes. Yeah. It was the best. Well, are you guys right? Are you wrong? We're going to find out soon because tonight's episode of Younger is about to start. Thank you, Tessa and Andy, for hanging out with me. Thanks so much us. fun. Thank you for having us. And thank you to the fans for watching. We love you, and this show is all for you. And we'll be back next week with Laura Bonanti, a.k.a. <gasps> Quinn. Yes, I know, the dramatic pause there. Love and it. in the meantime, be sure to check out our podcast, Younger Uncovered. Um, I believe, yeah, tomorrow it's me and Nico hanging out. So make sure to tune in. We'll leave you now with some bloopers from tonight's episode. Have a night, guys. Bye. Be back. Yes. I gotta get my woman. I'm fine, guys. It's rolling. I love brunch! <laughs> <laughs> I love brunch! <laughs> Honey, you broke the glass. <laughs> I know, it's so much better than that <clears throat> man. We're on, are we rehearsing right now? I have no idea. I don't think so. Oh, we're, we're shooting. Oh, we're shooting. okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's do this. Paula, Paula. Hey. It's your family, you don't know them? Come on. <laughs> don't forget the garnish. I say don't forget the garnish. I will not forget the <laughs> um. Lady Liberty was brought here many years ago. A gift from the French. Sorry. I was so far from you. I know, we're like, get in here. Can you see me? No. I can only keep somebody safe. <laughs> I can only keep so many lies for you. Secrets. You wouldn't invest in a business without doing your due dil diligence. <laughs> You're not really. Why is it so hard? I'm just doing what you told me. I know, but you don't have to. But you don't. <laughs> oh, okay. But officially single. It's the word. <laughs> On the street. On the street. <laughs> Very single. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> as far as we know. Sorry. Mm -hmm. No, nope. we're like this every day. <laughs> What's I'm, a task rabbit? I don't know. <laughs> What's the line? I hate seeing you be reduced. <laughs> we're killing it. Hey, what happened to the what happened to the wedding? <laughs> hey! <laughs> but that is. But that is. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Subscribe to Younger Uncovered. The podcast dedicated to all things younger.